Hi guys, we are Sophia and Dennis. We are a small family exploring the tiny planet Earth. Last year we built a van and got so many compliments on how fancy, homey, and well designed it was that we decided to start Tiny Planet, a van building company for people who want to join the van life movement. Check out our YouTube channel to see our first van build video. Now let's see what we've built for our client from Texas. This van is an improved version of our first build. Welcome in. The van is built in art decor design, incorporating geometric patterns and symmetrical arrangements inspired by designs featuring organic forms, contrasting colors, and a variety of modern materials from stainless steel to natural wood. Here is the dining room. This table is a pleasant place to eat and work while enjoying a scenic view. The window has a sliding mechanism to let plenty of light and fresh air come in. This shelf was built to hold plants and candles securely without any worries of them falling while driving. The swivel driver's seat makes this table comfortable for two people. Our layout provides a large kitchen area. There is an induction cooking stove that has two burners. The faucet has hot water that can be extended to run water outside to clean hiking equipment or shoes. A stylish hexagonal tile backsplash and plenty of counter space. The cabinets have enough space for everything you would store in a regular sized kitchen. Cutlery, cooking supplies, cutting boards, pots and pans, and everything you need. Under the sink is a convenient place for a garbage can and cleaning supplies. The fridge is located in a high position for easy access. Decorative hexagonal mirrors on the fridge are great for putting on makeup and getting dressed. This van has a full-size bed with a memory foam mattress. Insets allow the bed to be extended to 6 feet 4 inches, long enough for tall people too. Upper cabinets, drawers, and cabinets below give you plenty of space and storage for everything you want to bring with you in the van. There is a door under the bed that accesses the garage where you can store a laundry bag. This door can also be utilized to carry long items into the garage, like a surfboard. This van has a closet for jackets, which is located under the fridge. Above the fridge is another shelf for extra storage, like towels and blankets. Another two storage spaces are located in the front of the van. One is a hidden space under the table that can be used as a wine cellar. Another is above the front seats. There's lots of storage in this van. We built a shower in the van. People normally take a shower every day at home. We thought, why do you need to sacrifice comfort while living in a van? Our shower cabin is one of the smartest features in the van. The shower stall has a roll-up door and a wooden pallet. The innovative shower head uses just 0.4 gallons per minute and makes every hot shower enjoyable. The bath rug is held comfortably with Velcro to dry is easily accessible whenever you need it. The van has a toilet hidden inside the shower. We didn't want the toilet to get in the way of showering or be inconvenient to access. That's why we built a pull-out toilet system. The waterproof box for the toilet is partly made from marine grade plastic. Push to open system on the door. Heavy duty rails make it easy to use. Just two movements, push and pull. The waterless toilet is equipped with two containers and a ventilation system that prevents unpleasant odors. Toilet paper is conveniently attached to the door and never gets wet after taking a shower. Let's talk about climate control in the van. First of all, the van is well insulated to travel in any weather condition. The van is equipped with a max air fan with a remote control and 10 speeds that allow air in and out. Thanks to the correct placement of the fan and the sliding windows on the back door, the fan is well ventilated. This creates a pleasant cross breeze. The fan can also be used as an exhaust hood while cooking. For safety, we installed a carbon monoxide detector too. For really hot summer days in the van, we included a Cruise End Comfort 12 volt air conditioner, the best brand in the AC market. This AC unit is very efficient because it uses less power than cheaper alternatives. To ensure a comfortable temperature inside the van when it gets cold, the van has a diesel heater with a remote control. This makes traveling comfortable even in the winter. 
The multi-zone dimming multicolor light system is controlled by a wireless remote controller or display attached above the sliding door. It has four separate zones. You can change multiple colors, dim, turn one zone on or off, or all zones together with one button. For extra light or other devices, there are sockets everywhere in the van. Every location has two powerful USB and Type-C sockets and two 110 volt outlets. It is more than enough to charge laptops, phones, cameras, and other devices at the same time. Welcome to the garage. It has plenty of space for storage, even big enough to store mountain bikes. The electrical system in the van is self-sufficient. All devices are big drawn, which is the most efficient and safe for the electrical system. 420 watts of solar power connected to the MPPT controller. It can fully charge our 300 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery on sunny days. There is a DC to DC charger to charge the battery while we are driving. 3000 watt inverter charger that powers the induction stove, water heater, and 110 volt outlets. Every device has switches, so you can easily turn them on and off. And the battery has the main switch as well. Between the wardrobe and fridge, there is a Victron battery monitor screen, a heater monitor screen, and a water pump button. At the backsplash, there is a cruise and comfort thermostat and a switch to turn on either the induction stove or the water heater to prevent them from working simultaneously and not overload the electrical system. The electrical system will never put you in a situation to be out of power. You can easily live off-grid. However, you can hook up the van using the shore power that is placed outside the van. Victron inverter charger will automatically detect the power and switch to the charge mode. Let's talk about water. The van has a 30 gallon fresh water tank and a 20 gallon gray water tank. The water inlet is placed outside the van. It is easy to connect any hose to refill the water. For a perfect long hot shower, there is a 2.5 gallon water heater by Bosch. Usually the water lasts for three to four days with showering every day for two people and washing dishes after every meal. On the roof of the van, there is a deck made with premium composite boards that last forever. It's easy to climb up to the roof using the ladder located on the left side of the van. This rooftop terrace is a perfect spot to watch sunsets and look at the starry sky. Tell us if you liked the conversion in the comments below, and what changes did you notice in this van compared to our first build. Subscribe to this channel to see more of our elaborate and chic conversions. The luxury conversion of the Promaster 2500 in the new Boho Desert design is coming very soon. If you want to have a van like this, or an even better one, go on our website and build your perfect van. We would love to build the van for you. Follow us on Instagram to see the building process, the van life content, and so much more. Links below.